right, guys, what's up? Welcome back. It's your boy, Worst Every Gamer, and we're in luck, guys. We got another awakening today, and it's the brand new hero, Kazar! This guy is about to be awakened, guys, so if you're excited, drop a like for your boy, Kazar, here, because we're going to see the transformation happening right now, right here, live. No, it's not live, but it's live for me, so let's go ahead, guys. We're going to continue on with the awakening, Dojo Bloody Arena, so thank God all the dojos are open today. Which is a good thing, guys, because now we can actually finish this guy up. I can sweep three times, five times. Boom! That's finished. And let's go ahead directly to part number three for our boy Kazar here. And uh, we just got to kill these guys without being killed. Very simple. Very easy. This is as easy as can be. So let's go ahead with... Uh, ooh, let's use some of the newer heroes that was just changed in the last update, guys. So uh, let's go with Gus. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nightshade was also changed, even though this is a new skin, so you can't really notice it. Who else? Uh, I think, uh, Alana was changed there as well. I almost forgot her name. And who else was changed? Ah, uh, yes, Lucius! He was changed, so let's see, guys. Can they do this with just this weird of a mess of a team? What? Come on, man! I can't read no Chinese! I'm wrecking, he's saying, I will fuck you guys up in Chinese. King Chong Chow! Pia, pia, pia. That's what I think he's saying. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong, guys. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead. Let's check it out, guys. So this is Kazar's abilities. If you have already missed the spotlight, go ahead and check that out. Uh, this guy has two modes that he goes into. This is his statue mode, all right? Once he's in the statue mode, uh, shields pretty much goes up. Very defensive. Uh, more health. Not any damage at all. And that... When he's in statue mode, he gains energy and he g regains health. When he's in flying mode, ching chong Um, it's completely different, right? When he's in flying mode, he's uh, offensive. He starts doing damage. Check it out right there. Boom! Start freaking destroying everybody. And just a killer, right? So I love his abilities. We'll go over a little bit of his abilities once he's awakened, right? I want to take a look at what his final abilities awakening is actually going to do because... That's gonna be exciting. That will ching chong, ching chong, ching chong this guy. Let's go! That's kind of weird. It feels like the only words I know in Chinese is ching chong, ching chong. I know more than that! No, I don't. I don't know jack shit in Chinese. God damn it. I wish I spoke some Chinese, man. But, and for me, Chinese is one of the hardest languages to understand. Ching chong! Let's go! Bio! Alright, guys. Are you ready for this? Put your fingers in the air like you just don't care. That's right. Complete. Give them to me now. Whoa. Whoa. All right. That wasn't a big. E nah. Come on, man. That wasn't the hugest transformation. But what did happen is now he's all light lime green, which is pretty sick. Woo. Yo. All right. So that's more of flames. I didn't realize that, guys. This guy's body is made of blue flames. Damn, that is freaking sick. You're freaking sick, bro. Wow, you're amazing. All right, let's go on and check this guy out. Now, we're going to actually check out his fifth ability here. Woo, seems pretty cool. And I also got to enchant those two items at the top there. So he's not fully enchanted. But let's see what this uh, vital energy actually does. While Kazar is in statue mode, whenever allied or enemy non-summoned units take damage, magic damage, Kazar will gain some energy. What? The amount of energy regained is proportional to the amount of damage taken. Yo! What are the proportions? Uh, okay, okay. As Kazar gains energy, his attack gradually become less effective by enemy magic armor. Whoa. His attacks become more effective in this way up to... Wait, 2,500 enemy. I mean, energy. All right, so that's a little bit tricky, but let me just try to explain it for you guys right now. Okay, so when he's in statue mode, obviously, it's very simple. This guy is going to be uh, gaining energy based off of your opponent's magic damage. Right? Yes. So as he gains energy, his attacks gradually become less affected by enemy magic armor, which means the RB... The difference between their armor and his attack is going to start shrinking, which means he's going to be doing more damage. He's probably, by the end, uh, he's going to almost be ignoring armor at all for magic attacks. So that seems pretty sick. Ignores a maximum of 403 magic armor. That's a lot, guys, right there. And it's only level 21. At level 41, it'll be a lot more. So 
pretty sick if you ask me right now, man. Damn, sounds awesome. And then also he has his ruins here. Let me see if I can give him any cool ruins. I'll give him a max health. Physical attack. Uh, no, we're not going to give him that. So I'll go back to ruins, alright? So for now, on to the next part. Alright, so here we are in the forge. The mighty forge. And I want to just forge this really quickly, guys. 50 time. 50, 50, 50, 50. Let's go. And I also have a free forge that I can do, so that'll be nice. Give him a little extra boost to this guy, because um, I think he might need it, but he might not need it. My prediction for this guy is a uh, tank. Man, seems really cool, though. Seems like he's going to be able to tank and dish out a ton of damage. I can't wait to use this guy in the arena. I mean, he's already maxed out pretty much. I just have to max out those en uh, items and en enchantments, which I'll do right now. But other than that, he's ready to go. All right, so that's done. And I got one free. I'll do an ultimate here. Boom! All right, sweet. So he's ready to go with this now. Let's go enchanting. All right, guys. So I just pretty much enchanted everything. And I saved you guys the boredom of just watching enchantments here. So let's, that's everything enchanted. It gets some pretty sick boost right here, all right? So let's go ahead and on to the next part. Alright, so here we are in the Heroic Academy. I'm going to show you guys really quickly what I worked out for him. I pretty much did, this is the whole part one. I'm not completely done. You can check this out a little bit later. And this is part two. I kind of went in a slant. Just because it looks cool. Anyways, I got two more of this one right here, which is... Come on, click on it. What is this? Dodge rating. So I went with dodge. Hopefully you can dodge some more attacks. And that's max. The other option was healing. I don't like that healing ratio for him. I... Dodges a little bit better. All right. Anyways, guys, so that's what I went with for Heroic Academy. Now I think it's time for the best part, and that is battle. All right, guys. So here we are in an arena battle. Arena battle. Oh, I can't even talk right now. And this is actually for the number one spot in my arena. Let's hope that uh, you know this guy has a good showing here because uh, this could be very important. But he looks like he's about to die already, and that's bad news. Oh, he already got trapped by Haruk. Whoa! He survived the Garic hit there, so that's pretty good. And he survived the ultimate by Magnus. Yo, that's actually pretty good. Because those two attacks would have actually killed somebody in my backline. So, oh crap, I'm dying on the other side. Magnus is dead. Oh no. Alright, now he's transforming. But he doesn't have much health though. Shikes. Yo, this is turning out okay. There he goes. Ha ha. Go, go, go. He's still alive. That's impressive. I'm impressed, guys. Because he's going up against a really pretty damaging team there and he survived what yo that's insane i can't believe that he survived all those hits all right didn't dish out the most damage which is fine because uh, we don't need him to dish out damage i think this guy's more of a stall um tank but damn damage received yo i mean he almost received well that's a lot of damage to receive and still survive with only four stars so that's impressive on its own part right there. Wow. All right, healing ratio. And he heals, obviously. And he's got two kills. <laughs> That's a pretty good showing if you ask me. Wow. Impressive, impressive. And there we go. That's the number one team right there, guys. I got number one in the arena. Whoop, 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 whoop. So that's pretty sick. I like it a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that team in my defensive lineup. I think I like that a lot. Let's put them there. Who else did I have in there? Oh, I had a Kara. Hmm. Yeah, put Kara in there as well. Let's see how this team will do in the long run. Yes. All right, guys. So final opinion about our boy Kazar here. Uh, like him. I like him a lot. I think he's very impressive. I don't see how he's going to be any good in raids or Hall of Legends, to be honest. I think that he's going to be strictly for the arena. Strictly an arena hero. But it could be very impressive. It could be a really, really important arena hero here. Because he's got some really, really cool abilities here. But overall, I like his potential. And even at 4 stars, he was still very effective in that battle there. He did third, was it third or fourth best damage, which is alright for him. So yeah, I give him two thumbs up. I like him for the arena. If you are trying to have an overall hero, if you're free to play, this guy's probably not going to be the guy for you when he was released anyways. Because um, you kind of want to go with guys who are going to probably do good in Hall of Legends and in the raids. But... I love this guy a lot. I like his look. I like his card. And these are some of the stats if you want to take a look at right now. Physical attack and magic attack. Dual attacking hero. They're both not great. But I think they're both okay. Uh, don't forget his 
awakened ability now, which will enhance his magic attack by a lot, alright? So that helps out. So yeah, that's about it for Kazar, guys. I hope you enjoyed the awakening of Kazar, and I will catch you guys on the next awakening video. So then, have a good morning, good afternoon. Good night, guys. Peace out.